All right, the secret's out. Yeah, I'm not a real self-taught software engineer. I slipped up on an interview with Tech Rally and it came out that I did go to university for a semester and I studied C+. Hold on one second, I'm getting ahead of myself. If you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Jeremiah. I'm a self-taught software engineer and I make lifestyle and tech videos and I'm documenting my journey through software development with the, with the YouTube. So if that's interesting, you know, drop a like and support the channel. And at this point in my career, I've worked professionally with a handful of languages like HTML, uh, JavaScript, Kotlin, some other ones, <laughs> PHP. Um, and also I did do a little bit of dabbling in C++, which brings me back to the C++ story of me studying it in college for a semester. All right, 19 year old Jeremiah was super pumped to go to university and study computer science which is a lie. I was super excited to go to college and, you know, party it up a little bit. And my D that I received in intro to C++, intro to programming, reflects that. That class was only Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it was only an hour um, a week, and that's the only hours I spent on C++. And it was, it was cool uh, to be coding and say I was coding, but I, I didn't really really enjoy it too much my professor he was a good professor but he was like you don't gotta worry about main void uh public yet just do that c out greater than greater than and you're good to go so after i mastered the c out greater than greater than and multiplying two things our first project was a calculator to convert celsius to fahrenheit in the terminal and i was like i done strained my brain and looked at all these weird confusing numbers to make this little game this little converter uh, not for me. And then I kind of really fell out of enjoying coding. I I barely finished that course. I think I had like a C or a D, um, an intro to computer science. And at that point, I dropped out of college and really lost interest in computer science as a whole. All right, now fast forward like what, four, four or five years? It's 2019 and I'm ready to get my toes back into coding. I'm not sure what YouTube video was suggested to me, but I'm now I'm interested in coding. Let's, let's figure this out. And so I, you know, I did the Google thing or YouTube thing and people were telling me Python. I'm like, okay, shoot, let's give it a try. All right, so I picked up Python. I got a little book. I got a little online Udemy course and I'm working through it for a couple of weeks and boom, it's time for the first project. And once again, the first project put a sour taste in my mouth. It was a tic-tac-toe game with ups and dashes. And I think you put one through nine in to like select the like position you wanted to play. Um, and I was like, oh, I didn't learn all of this and I'm making terminal games. So again, it put a nasty taste in my mouth. Before I gave up on programming completely, I had one last shot to pick a language that I would enjoy and create projects that made me excited to develop. And that language was, you probably could have guessed it, JavaScript. When I first met JavaScript, it was honestly love at first sight. Because <laughs> website, you'll uh, You'll get that one when you're older, don't worry about it. Which brings me to my number one most recommended programming language that you need to learn first, in my opinion, is JavaScript. And there's a bunch of reasons I'm about to get into right now to why I think JavaScript is an amazing language to hop on into for your first one. But hot take, the language that you choose to write code in isn't a personality trait. It's just the language that you choose to write code in. I'm not sure why the internet has built up this whole faction system to where, oh, that's a C++ developer. That's an HTML developer. Oh, we can't get along. We got beef today, son. We got beef today. Honestly, whatever language that accomplishes the task that you have or helps you build a project that you want to build, that's the best language for you. All right, I have said my opinion on the internet and now I'm ready to defend it. Probably like the, the biggest reason I like JavaScript is because it has a super low barrier to entry. You don't have to have the correct version of JavaScript downloaded on your system. It just write JavaScript. You can even open up the console in any internet browser to include Internet Explorer and you can start writing JavaScript right away, like like right now. And also JavaScript is like everywhere. What do you mean everywhere? You couldn't escape it if you tried. What? What do you mean? What do you mean you can't escape it? What? If you wanted to build a dynamic website, JavaScript? Bingo, either vanilla JavaScript or a popular framework like React.js, which I'm a big fan of. Shout out Facebook. Okay, but what if I wanna do like mobile apps? React.js has a little brother, his name's React Native, and he's just phenomenal for creating mobile applications that work on both iOS and Android. I'm not much of a 
visual person? What if I want to create no user interface? Too easy. Back in development, no JS. The JS stands for JavaScript, by the way, so it's all part of the family. All right, last question. I know this is a stretch, but what about that machine, that machine learning thing? Yeah, that, that does sound like a bit of a stretch. I'm not sure JavaScript can do machine learn. Psych! TensorFlow.js, shout out Google. Okay. Software development is already an in-demand job and probably, you know, is gonna continue to be an in-demand job. And there's a lot of different types of ways you can enter software development, kind of like I went over before, whether that be web applications, mobile, machine learning, backend development. JavaScript has you covered for each type of development that interests you. Once again, JavaScript was a great language for me to start learning programming with because it fit the need that I had. And dare I say it, it was entertaining to use. It was it was pretty fun to get started with JavaScript and create things. Remember when I said my first application or program in C++ was a thermostat converter, and my first program in Python was a tic-tac-toe game in the terminal with dashes? My first project in JavaScript was a, ah, I'll show you, come on. Pretty cool, right? My first project in JavaScript was this number incrementer. You clicked a button and the number went up. And I was like, I'm a wizard, Harry. Like, I'm I'm pretty awesome. It was super rewarding to see my code doing things on the interwebs. Um, and that's why I kind of stuck with it because I was curious to what more I could do um, with JavaScript. I'm a super visual person. I like watching YouTube videos to gain information instead of reading and making something that was visual gave me so much like, like joy, I was, I was super proud of what I could visually make. Uh, that's probably another reason that I push JavaScript because you get to see what your code is doing and that's pretty cool, especially when there's a lot of complex things going on you don't really understand, but when it does stuff that you can see on a web page, makes it kind of worth the, the headache that you had to go through to make that thing. And fortunately, the two teams that I've joined since learning how to program both use JavaScript very heavily. Um, one team even used React.js and I was able to take all of my JavaScript learnings and my excitement for JavaScript and apply it to the job so that I could pay my bills and eat food and whatnot. So that was, that was cool. If you're looking for how to get started programming, I'll drop the Udemy link to the course that I took. It was just newly redone. And also I'll drop the link to freecodecamp.org, which is a fantastic way to test the coding waters of JavaScript without actually having to pay any money. All right, I said a lot of words, but I'm gonna close with this. I uh, checks, notes. Mm. If I had to do it all over again, I probably would have worked backwards. I would have either found what job I want, like, hey, I wanna be a web developer, or what type of applications or automations I wanted to do, and then I would see what languages I needed to learn to make that happen. So in my case, obviously, I like visual stuff. I always knew that. I've always known that. So uh, JavaScript would be great for me. And um, yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching and listening to the words I had to say about coding languages. Uh, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.